Hello, good people of YouTube, all about nice, back with another video. And today is a slightly different video. First of all, I just want to say, I apologize for this. <laughs> it is my pineapple head. Now, the reason I have my hair like a pineapple is because it's the only way I can get it out of my face, out of my neck, and not covered in sawdust is like this so yeah it looks a bit wild but it's just practical uh, so yeah i do apologize for this bizarre look um now the other thing is i was going to bring you the uh, rest of my sneaker collection today but i feel like this is a question that i want to ask you guys um also, I am over here because the sun is so bright over there um, and I can't actually see. I do need to get a blind for that front window for when the sun is so glaringly bright. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love it. But when it's when you're doing videos, it's just a bit in your face. Anyway, um, yeah, so the reason why I've not brought you the rest of the sneaker collection, sneaker collection is because is it something I've noticed recently. Um, now, as many of you know, you know, I watch YouTube videos um, and something that I've noticed recently is, as the title says, exposing YouTubers. Now, is it okay to expose YouTubers? The reason why I ask this question is many of you guys who, you know, if you're following YouTubers, you know, like myself or... or um, you know, streetwear fashion YouTubers like myself uh, and obviously like the bigger ones like Kais, um, 2Js, uh, I don't know, there are tons, there are tons. You will probably know of Sneak City, the fantastic two young girls, I say young girls because to me, compared to me, they are young, uh, I think they're in their early 20s. Um, so you'll know Sneak City who are based in uh, America and obviously we've got now who thank you thanks to four massive YouTubers shouting them out Cam's Kicks um, he is somebody who's who's obviously opened a store in Pennsylvania a couple of months ago and he's you know he's blowing up which is fantastic but as I say, it does help when you have four massive YouTubers shouting him out. Not not saying he's not working hard because he clearly is working hard. He posts nearly every day. He's always grinding in the store or online or whatever. And fair play, he's only 19. So, you know, fair play to him. Um, now, I've seen a couple of people, and I'm not going to mention their names because I don't think it's fair. Um, there are a couple of people who have exposed him for scamming someone. And there is another channel that I just discovered yesterday that has almost exposed Sneak City for copying cam kicks now if we were going to go around this is my view okay and i want to know yours so please comment it down below if we're going to go around exposing people for copying we never get anything done our lives would be taken up with moaning about people copying now i don't believe for one second that sneak city copied cam's kicks if anything if you're going to talk about copying cool kicks um two j's uh oh, cam's kicks sneak city i'm trying to think of others and i'm sure there are that i've maybe not seen they've all copied round two round two started the whole uh shooting in store and they started it and then everyone is kind of followed and that do you know what I, I don't necessarily see it as copying i see it as wow what a great idea i'm starting a, a sneaker business 
I'm starting a shop, this is a great way to expose my shop, to give it exposure, to, to sell my shop. I don't see it as copying because if you're going to go down the copying route, um, somebody asked me the other day, uh, in fact, actually no, it was today, it was only on today, every day is moulding into one. Um, there's a, an artist that has gone around a, a, a small town near me doing very much the same sort of thing as Banksy. Now, because I'm a creative, I've done paintings, I've done, you know, I've done, um, I've done all sorts of various different mediums of artwork. Uh, this guy asked me my opinion. He said, as a creative, do you think that is a shit thing to do? And I said, well, to be honest with you, if we're gonna talk about copying, we could go back to 1902 random date in my head. Because everybody, there's nothing, there's no such thing, in my opinion, as original artwork. We're all influenced by someone. We're all, all influenced by an artist, um, a visual, um, anything. We're influenced by something. Now, yes, okay, his stuff is pretty much identical. In all honesty, I don't really care. I'm not a fan of Banksy. I think he's an arrogant prick, personally. Um, but that's just my opinion. And you know what? So what? It's exposing his art. whoop de doo da you know? If you, however, there is a however on this. If you take, for example, a Banksy picture off the internet and you sell it as your own work, that's copyright. That's obviously going into a whole different ball game. That is, you know, if I took, if I bought, um, if I bought a, a wood carving, say I bought this, okay, this wooden button, I bought it from an artist, I then decided to sell it for more or whatever and sold it as somebody else's, that is a different ball game. But you know, I'm doing these these wooden buttons, which you know I'm really enjoying doing, and um, they will be necklaces, brooches, whatever. It's not something that's not been done before. It's just my style. I'm doing it in my own style. Um, I'm using different types of wood, and you know, wooden carvings have been done for years. But it's what you do with it. It's it's you know the market you sell it to. So what I'm trying to say when it comes to, I mean, like my, my mushrooms, they're very abstract. It's a slightly different style. Um, but what I'm trying to say in, in, in relation to, um, the, you know, Sneak City, Cam's Kicks, all that, it's not copying, it's just being inspired. You're, you're, you've got your own brand. Sneak City have been going for about five years. And shout out to those two. They are doing a brilliant job. Um, you know, they started before Cam's Kicks. Yes, their YouTube channel has come maybe a couple of months after, but they've had their brand and they've been going for five years. They've developed it. So they're developing, inspired by, you know, round two have started it. Cam's Kicks came along and He's done that, so every, so people are, are exposing Sneak City for copying Cam's Kicks. Well, actually, if you're going to go down that route, Cam's Kicks has copied round two. Cam's Kicks has po copied uh, Cool Kicks, you know? But for some reason, and I don't know whether it's because they're women, I don't know, I don't want to throw out the sexist card too much, but why they're getting hate for that, I don't know. Um, I don't think it's deserved, honestly. I mean, I, I've commented on Cam's kicks and I will never throw hate to anybody unless they've actually been an absolute bastard and you're defending someone you know. You know, it's a completely different ball game. But I've commented on his videos and I've gone, you know, I don't necessarily agree with that, that you've done or that. That's just my opinion and he's putting himself out there and I don't, I don't, you know, if someone's throwing me constructive criticism, then that is great, you know. If someone's telling me I'm an ugly bitch and I've got a fat face or whatever, that's that's just hate, that's just mindless hate. Um, so I've said, you know, I've made comments about, you know, I, I don't necessarily think 
that was the greatest thing you could have said to that person or you know but he's a young kid he's 19 and he's learning and you know customer service i've been in customer service for years on and off and the way you talk to customers is quite important you know um so it, it, to me throwing it out there is just a little bit of information you can take or leave it you do what you want with it um but I don't think this exposing malarkey is it's just, I don't know. I just think that unless he has done something terrible, and as I say, uh, he did what say, sounded like, this guy exposed him for this scam, and it sounded crap from his part. Um, we saw the, um, the DMs via Instagram and it sounded really, really shit, I've got to say. If that is his way of dealing with online customers, it's not going to last very long. But the guy who exposed him, my God, he got hate for it. He got hate. And it's, a, it's almost like, you know, I don't, I don't know whether he knew the guy who was scammed. I'm not entirely sure. Um, I mean, you could say to him that it's none of his business if he didn't know him, um, or whether he's just trying to warn others, you know, just be careful or whatever. I don't know, but to give him a load of hate for actually stating a few facts, I think is wrong. Um, and then this other, this other YouTube channel who was that sort of um, hating on Sneak City for copying Cam's kicks, I thought was, I thought that was pretty stupid actually because you know have you really thought about what you're saying here because if you are if you haven't you clearly haven't thought about what you're saying should i say because at the end of the day they're both copying if you're going to go down that route so i think that, that was a bit of a a nonsense video actually it was a bit of a nonsense video but um, but this guy who was exposing the really shit transaction that, that Cam's Kicks did with, with somebody else, he was just telling the truth, you know, he was telling the truth. Um, people then go, oh, you're jealous, is this, is that. No, I don't think it is. I just think it's informative, actually. And maybe uh, it's a good idea because he's still learning, this kid, this Cam's kid, he's still learning. So maybe it's a good idea that he takes on board actually that wasn't the best thing to do if you're going to put yourself out there with a shop especially that it's a dangerous area i mean going on youtube is and i've learned it you know you are opening yourself up to hate because of so many sad people out there who are keyboard warriors but you are delving into more dangerous territory um opening your store and your transactions and the way you do business to the world so anything where you you make a bit of a boo-boo you're gonna get people commenting on it um and he's made a boo-boo with that and this guy has just honestly come out and said i don't think this was right maybe you should think about this that and, that. and you know maybe it's none of his business but at the end of the day everything is on youtube everything is on social media so you know, you're going to get people having an opinion. I don't think it's right to jump on that kid's back for just telling the truth, quite frankly. Um, but anyway, that is just my opinion on exposing YouTubers. And note, this isn't a new thing, by the way. I've seen big YouTubers exposing other big YouTubers and having beef. And we've all seen it. And sometimes it's a little bit juvenile. Um, but yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments because it's, yeah, I don't know, YouTube drama, man. Sometimes it makes me glad that I'm a little bit small fry. Keep keep out of it. Just sort of keep on the down low. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts. I really, really am interested to hear your thoughts on this and all about that. We'll see you on the next one. Keep it real, guys.